Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld 1.0 Beta. We're still in a super unstable development build, so a lot of things may in fact change. We got a nice little base starter over here. I think things are looking very, very, very lovely. I'll uh, give a shout out to everyone who's uh, new maybe to this series and to the channel over here. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys have hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll try to murder lots and lots of people in RimWorld through horrific and terrible accidents because that's always a lot of fun. We got hunting going on, we got a little bit of mining going on, we've got farming started, and we are cooking. Mostly we're cooking our uh, our critters over here. Uh, these little meat packs are kind of, or like leather packs are kind of unpretty, so we'll uh, hopefully get them hauled off at some point. We've also got some cleaning needs that are coming on, but kind of okay with what everyone's doing right now. So I guess the, the new um, stack graphics... Oh, there's a first raid. Now that should be a single naked guy, so it should be okay. I think it shows you when things are full. I don't know if it shows you this after like 50%. If it only showed it to you when you were full, I actually think that might be ideal. So we got this info over here now. It tells you who you, who it is and what the relationship is. But yeah, a single, a single guy coming in here. My humps shows up. He's got a club. And uh, let's go and we're just going to get everyone sorted over here. There might be a better place that we could get like longer line of sight. Hopefully Ushinki can make it across without getting slaughtered here, but he's gonna get this guy's gonna get shot at as he tries to close. Ushinki's got the best uh, weapon for shooting at range, but should be alright. Lem can always tank in melee a bit. Oh, there's some little water effects here. There we go. Okay. Now you actually went down. How many injuries are we talking about? No missing body parts. Nimble, hard worker, fast learner. Congratulations, you are going to get recruited, is the hope. Do, do, do. Let's go and collect you. It's slow walking through here. Hopefully we'll get you before you bleed to death. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you are going to... You're eating. Um, we are going to... 93%? That's not great. What's our social? Six? Oh, we got a 12! You know what? We can probably get this guy. Let's do it! So we're going to chat and recruit, and yes, we will offer you proper medicine. And, in fact, I will <coughs> just reset people briefly here. So that, you know, priorities are sorted. Now, you've got a terrible prisoner room. We might have to go and improve that a little faster than anything else. What we might do later is knock down the wall between these two, and they're still sort of a little awkwardly shaped but they could become a bedroom, or we could still make this place, if we knocked everything down, this could actually make for a fairly decent early workshop. We could consider putting our stockpile maybe in here, because I don't think we're going to dig through all this mountain. We are possibly going to dig along the shore. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, it's a fairly terrible space. So one of the things that they changed is the, um, the recreation is it... The more you do one recreation, the more you get tolerance towards it. So you can see solitaire relaxation, which is currently, he's be growing, Bonjamate is getting a tolerance to it, because she's currently doing that right now. Dexterity play is presumably the, um, the horseshoes. So, at current expectation, each tolerance falls by 13% every day awake. Having three recreation types is recommended. Um, so right now we've got solitary, social, and dexterity. Okay, so you could do social relaxation. Um, or it's recommending because we could potentially build a, um, a chess table. I guess we'll do that now. So yeah, the better your base gets, the more expectations rise and then the more fun activities people are looking for. All right, Lem having a nap. And yeah, we'll build these. Because walking speed here is 87%. Here's 100%. It's not much of a difference, but it will definitely add up. Now, I'm wondering if we have to worry about things like the grizzly bears. And I think there's Lynx's boot in a boot as well. And <laughs> hopefully they don't cause too many problems for us. Now, also, hopefully we recruit humps in the not-too-distant future. Because he's going to use a fair amount of food. Yeah, less than 1% right now. But he doesn't like us yet. And he's super miserable. But yeah, cramped, awful darkness. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that ASAP. We've got room here for another structure. I don't know what we'll use it for. 
but we may as well like this this is a decent use of space over here keeps things nice and compact we got a heat wave um we do have this area in the beds air conditioned so maybe it'll be okay We will make this a prisoner room for now, though, is is the plan. It's our best bed. Just normal, right? Mm-hmm. We could make a double bed over there. I don't think we've got much in the way of wood right now. We've got to get some more people to cut down some plants. So how do I feel about the priority of things? So, like, Lem is going to mine before plant cutting. But I guess that's okay. We could maybe... Um, you know what? I think we're going to turn off hunting for a bit. Because we're actually... We've got a fair amount of meat and meals. So yeah, we can really just turn off hunting and then let people go and do their other stuff. There you go. Tree chopping. Yeah, you're going to spend a fair amount of time doing that. Um, we'll probably want an air conditioner... ...over here. We might need a heater in the winter as well, but let's get there when we get there. So yeah, we can't really make this room any bigger without, say, you know, just getting really wonky here. This preserves this this linear footpath, which I think is nice. And this one over here, which can't go any further south because of the mud. So yeah, we may as well put up a little room over there. <coughs> and for now, it'll be a prisoner room. Could move the dining area over there. We could... Actually, that's not a bad workshop space. That might be what it becomes uh, longer term. I still don't know what I want my bedrooms to look like. I was originally imagining a bunch of, you know, a bunch of huts along the river... Which we might still do, and I think that's probably what we're going to do. We'll have to figure out what we're doing vis-a-vis... -vis. Wow, did I really just say vis-a-vis? -vis? Wow. Um, the farming areas versus the little, you know, cabins. But yeah, everyone wants a little riverside cabin. They look nice! They can maybe go a little fishing. I mean, fishing's not in the base game, as far as I know. Got the heat wave going on. It's 10 degrees in here, even with double freezers. Now, we don't have it double walled or anything, so, yeah, that's, you know, that's certainly a thing. Uh, we're starting to run a little low on power as well. We're certainly going to hit our peak over here, so we will go and ready another water mill, which, if I put it there, I'm worried it might overlap the plants. So we'll put it over here. That's going to be fine. We don't have enough wood stored. We still have some tree chopping commands, though. Yeah, it really does stop there. So I wonder if it's just less fussy about the terrain outside of that inner box. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. That's some berries we can pick here too, but I mean, we're not actually hurting on food. And berry picking is, it seems like a very slow and sort of time inefficient thing to do. Which we'll probably hold off. Still working on the flooring, which might not be the most important task, but <coughs> it's okay. Sorry, I got a little bit of tickle in my throat. I think I may have been doing a few too many recordings lately. I think I'm going to have to take a day off for myself. More of an excuse. Well, maybe not a day off, but less recordings in one day. And it'll be more of an excuse to watch a little bit more World Cup. Be like, oh, can't record as much. There's important games going on. Which is actually going to happen as we get closer and closer to the finals. Uh, today we're in, uh, still in the round of 16. I just saw Brazil beat Mexico. And then I believe in two hours I'll be able to see Belgium play someone. Not that I know what a Belgium is. I think it's one of those those fictional made-up countries like Mordor. Something like that. Oh, we're at 6 of 7 with the hauling. Puppy's almost there. Lovely. So I probably will set up guns, but they might be the sort of guns that are just on all the time. Still, power should be a lot easier. These are basically a third of a geothermal each. And I mean, yeah, there's a fair amount of material, but we didn't have to, like, research for it. They also look absolutely adorable. I mean, come on. Totes adorbs. Is what we got going on here. All right, building up these walls. Why don't you actually have power? Do we just not have enough? Yeah, you need 200 and we're at 173. Okay, that's why you're not on. Which is fine, because I wouldn't have wanted you to be on anyway. Yeah, and we'll start on there. We don't want you to be on until this room is sealed. Okay, butchering a little bit more. I mean, we will have to do some more hunting soon. We got a good map for it, too. And we're going to need some more planting. This is not enough food to keep us going. Certainly not throughout winter. Although with enough hunting, maybe. But yeah, we'll, we'll be a little bit more generous with the uh, the planting soon. What I might do is actually just plant a big crop right over here. Big potato one, maybe a big corn one. Now, I need to remember, of the crops... And maybe more strawberries, too. 
Um, I guess for fertility sensitivity, it doesn't matter, because we're at 100%, so... I mean, the corn needs 70, it's 100%. I think potatoes are fairly chill about it. Yeah, they need they need 70, and they're only 40% sensitive to it. They actually really don't care what the ground is. The corn wants it a little bit more. We could also have rice for a really fast turnaround, but I don't know how important that is. So, you know what? We'll go ahead and do something like that, and we'll put some little wooden paths around it. It'll look nice. Um corn and maybe we will get some rice because it just it changed up the time and the rice needs a fair amount more maintenance because it grows really fast so it needs to be replanted much more frequently but it gives us different patterns and things and i don't know that's that seems like it's going to be lovely uh i don't really want to queue up more construction jobs lem can you yeah you don't have any more wood so you're going to go mine instead <clears throat> we do have some people who will do plant cutting although you're growing right now lem you're going to go rest So the reason I like to have plant cutting as a higher priority. And you'll get there. I'm going to relax socially. Excellent. So if I take a look at your recreation now. So you'd be bored from dexterity. I believe um, in, in the latest patch notes that I read, if the tolerance gets above 50%, they won't do the task at all. So they won't waste time on a task where they're not getting much fun. Um, but yeah, so... Anything below it, they can still do the task. They don't they don't get as much fun as quickly, I think. But anything above 50, they'll just refuse to do that altogether. Still, they have enough variety here, so they can mix it up. So you're going to spend a lot of time planting. Bonjamate, you are doing some hauling. I guess, yeah, there was still some stuff to be hauled all over the map. Although, oh, you're the one who plant cuts down to a four. Which isn't necessarily the worst, because we do need some hauling to happen. And you cook as well. Yeah, so you're going to be plenty busy. And you're doing the planting. So it's really the question is, can we get... We might want to get Lem to not mine right now. So I'm going to do that. I'll put on a four, just in case you actually do become idle. I'm going to reset you. Encourage you to go and do something else. There we go. So you're going to do this and construct. Which I think is good. Still got the heat wave. 46 degrees. 9 degrees over here. In here we're at 25, so hopefully people won't be roasting too, too much. Let's take a look. This is still going to be a fairly low chance, because I think he's pretty cranky. Hey, even 2% right now is not so bad. We should be able to get it up a little bit more than that, though. With our various skills. So you just need more wood delivery. I'm a little worried about this grizzly bear. Oh, and someone else, Bunjamate, is helping to do some chopping as well. A little relaxation over here is fine. Uh, Lem, you're working on the chairs. Like, I really need you to work on the generator. I know I have a ton of stuff queued up. I can force you to do it, I suppose. Yeah, I guess you have enough to do these, so you're doing this. Uh, I will cancel, cancel, cancel. I suppose the flooring's not the worst, because you don't actually need a lot of material to get the floor done. Yeah. And you'll do that, and that's okay. And actually, these walls and things are also going to be fine. It's not the worst thing in the universe. Because we just need the generator up so that we can get this working. But yeah, the floors take two seconds. Sure, it's fine. Uh, see, this trees. That's The biggest reason to put the floors down is actually just to stop trees from growing, and therefore slowing us down. So I'll do that now, because there's actually some value to getting it done. And again, that does not that's not a big job. Okay, we'll have to figure out something about our stone storage later on. Yeah, but you're you're not going to be happy. Naked darkness. Can we drop clothes in there? Sweaty? Oh, too hot in here. I'm sweating. I don't remember seeing sweaty. Huh. 2.2%? Yeah, we'll get humps in the not-too-distant future. And yeah, it's 33% more mouth to feed right now, but I think we can we can handle that okay. Get some raw meat kicking around here. Actually, the biggest problem is going to be that stuff is going to uh, or start to rot. So I could actually like, move the dining room into here, because we're going to want to give them a table. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Yeah, see, meat is rotting. Because it's too hot! So if it gets cooked, it might get a bit of a extra lifespan added to it. So 
We'll have to turn on some, some hunting again, but we'll get this planted first, and that's going to be okay. So, Lem, you're chopping, and then flooring, but the flooring's nearly done, and then you'll get to this. It does annoy me slightly that we can't floor right here, but at least no trees will grow there. Uh, we're up to almost 3%. It is growing okay. And yeah, we'll just move one of the beds in here. Or maybe just build an extra one. Cargo pods. What is this? Rice. Okay, we'll unforbid you. That's very handy. Heat wave is finally over. Okay, thank goodness. It's going to save a lot of power because these guys won't have to work quite as hard. They'll still be working pretty hard, though. Because they were working as hard as they could and they weren't hitting the minus four. So now they'll, they'll probably still work almost as hard as they can, but get a little closer to keeping things frozen. And we got a new recruit. 3% chance. That actually happened so much faster than expected. Now I don't know what to do uh, regarding this dining room. Well, I think I'm going to move things back. Now, I don't think I need all four tables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, or four chairs, rather. I'm going to use these chairs to set that up like that. And then we'll go back to building the, uh, the wooden chest table over here. And I think that's going to be great. So I need a name for this new recruit. We're also going to need some clothing for you. Oh, is that the flea? Okay, new graphic for that. Oh, we can change your title now! Dromedary Knight! Humper Extraordinaire. No, we'll leave it there. That's... Oh! Which is good, because we can keep track of people with, like, jobs, really. So he's a punchy, punchy, like, fast guy. Um, I mean, he it's not that he won't shoot, but that is certainly his preference. He's good at social, he's good at animals, he's good at plants. He's been naked and long enough, we could call him the naturalist, but I will leave it there. Dromedary Knight's kind of a funny title. Uh, oh, did we have spare pants? Really? How do we get spare pants? Oh, when someone put on the armored pants, they took away the other... Aha! So this is still rotting away. Five degrees, six... Oh, it's still not refrigerating. It's still 40 degrees outside, even though it's not a heat wave. Okay, so... You're going to go ahead and firefight. We're going to turn off your doctrine. You had a four, which isn't bad, but you got no passion. And this and that. So, yeah, we've got so many people who are good at talking. You're not very good at construction now, but you got passion for it, so I'm going to turn it on. We're going to go and turn the hunting jobs back on as well here. Uh, you got mining on for some reason. Now, you won't haul, but you will clean. And I guess that's okay. I'd actually potentially be tempted to put his cleaning on a two. And I think that's actually what I'm going to do here. We're going to make sure to get those done. Oh yeah, the wardening, we do want it at a, uh, at a one here because we want to make sure when there's there's a prisoner that they get fed at appropriate rate and we want to hit that um, recruit attempt on a max timing. Whoa, sorry buddy, we're going to do this. Recruit, unrecruit you. You can go ahead and sleep in that bed. We got some rare thrombos. We are not going to hunt the rare thrombos right now because I think that would be pretty suicidal. So we still need this to get done. Hey, what, the people with plant cut passion? Like, well, maybe I'll put it at two. Like, get those trees chopped down. We need the building material, which actually, yeah, there's probably enough sitting around for Lem to get started on. He just decided to work on the chess table first, and sure, fine. Can we get info about the category? Cerebral play. Ah, so we have a fourth category of fun. All right. And it may also double as a little bit of an opportunity for people to have a chat with each other. Okay, you are working on... No, I want you to work on this. Thank you very much. And you're going to go for a rest. All right. So Zambi could actually go... Sorry to wake you up, buddy. I'm going to get you to equip your club again. Because you're actually pretty good at melee. So you're not unarmed. You get attacked by an uh, animal. So summer has become begun, but winter is coming. Mm-hmm. I've heard that before. You're going to go and harvest these oak trees, which is fine. Let's take a look at the wildlife thing. Uh, yeah, we'll probably go ahead, you know, pre-winter. We'll go and hunt a fair more of these alpacas. Um, we'll do something like that. And maybe what we'll do is we'll try to tame two pairs. Although, hold on, we... Never mind. We're not going to go and tame animals right now because we don't have hay set up. So we'll just hunt all the alpacas. Hopefully we'll get some more in the future. But we'll just hunt them all for now. 
And I'm wondering, I'm worried that when winter comes, we may have to go and kill the grizzly bear because uh, there may not be any berries for the grizzly bear to eat and he might come after us instead. So we might have to go and preemptively hunt that guy down. We're going to want to floor this stuff, but we're going to want to let this construction job finish first. Need some components, but we should have components. Yep, right over there. Watching the sunrise. Excellent. Relaxing socially. Fine, too. Not that there's anyone else in there. Social interaction is going up, even though you're not actually talking to anyone. Oh, there we go. A little bit. Lots of fun. And you're having the cerebral play, and you're interacting with people, and again, hopefully making some friends. You're wandering? Were you idle? Oh, you are idle. Hold on. Wow! Really? Nothing to construct. Here, we can put on some low-priority mining for you. And everyone else. Hmm. I could chop down some more trees. Because we don't have, like, infinitude wood. What I'll do is I'll bring the plant cut down to a uh, somewhat lower priority. But I will go ahead and order some more chop wood. Heck, we can do some harvesting of some crops here. Just in case there's anything around, that's going to be okay. Alright, so we got this. We got more power. This is now operating, which is good. Just going to try to keep this room a little cool. And yeah, I think it will be a little bit of a workshop. Now that that's done, and we've got a little bit more wood coming, I think I'm going to go and finish the floors everywhere. So it's going to look so much nicer. These bedrooms are still kind of the suck, but that's all right. Um, I'm a little less worried about the stockpile, because people don't really spend a lot of time in there. Although they still spend some. We'll start with these rooms. And furniture. We're going to want a lamp in here somewhere. And again, I probably should have put the doors three tiles away from the edges, because... Although here, now there's... Are there six tiles of space here? Yeah, there are. So, yeah, that works out okay. Alright. So, stonecutter's table, tailoring bench. I guess we want to get our research on, don't we? And this one's, like, super awkwardly shaped for this. Um, maybe I'll just... Oh, then we can't walk through that little diagonal. This room is super... I guess we could just block one of the doors. Yeah, that's probably okay. Rotting away. So it's still not cold enough in here. Wow. 32 degrees outside. I mean, it's hot. Do we want to put a third freezer in here? Just doing a bunch of double walling would also... Would actually be the, the, the real answer. Uh, we're going to do that. And we're going to get a dining chair to be nice and comfy over here. And I don't know if we want to rush the other production. Certainly the research, yes. I've only got one person who's particularly good at researching. I guess Bonjamate, we're going to turn off your hauling and cleaning. And if you're researching on, I mean, you'll never do this, because it'll never be an idle thing. So cooking and hunting into research. I suppose what I'll do is I'll turn off your hunting. So Ushikin can do the hunting. You will cook, and actually you're probably going to spend a lot of time cooking. And then when you're not cooking, you'll research. That's basically... That's going to be your life. And I guess that's fine. There we go. Lots of power. Got some meat coming in here. So now you're freezing now. And you're still refrigerated the rest of the time. A meteorite. Lump of jade. That's a lot of jade. I think we've got someone who's a pretty decent artist. We might be able to make some, some jade artwork fairly quickly. That's very nice. Ooh, a little bit of lovey-lovey. Uh -huh. Maybe we can set up some paired bedrooms soon. Okay, lots of flooring. Things are going to look a little bit better. It's nice. Yeah, it's still going to be a fairly small production area. And at some point, it's going to be the bigger research lab. And we might move it somewhere else. Or we might leave it in here. Like, I might say, screw this door, build the big research desk over here. And call that good enough. <laughs> sure. And we might just move the doors or something like that. It's only wood. On this map, we can basically expect to have infinite wood. That sounds dirty. It's not dirty. <laughs> um, we could consider... And it's probably a good idea. Especially since I'm going to keep building along the river. 
Let's build a forest behind us here. Now, keeping in mind that enemies will be able to use that for cover. But hey, that's fine, right? Uh, can I not plant trees in vanilla? Do you need a research for it? I don't remember. Tree sowing! Cocoa! That's right, that's something else that's new. Very exciting. There's bridges. We should probably learn bridges quickly. Because that way we don't have to spread quite as wide. We can build a bridge across here, hopefully route power through it, and then develop on the other side. Plus, just movement speed. Because that's slow right there. And I want to see how bridges work. Chop, chop, chop. And yeah, we can start clothes making soon. Winter is not super cold where we are, but we'll probably still want more warm clothing. Bonjamate is idle. Oh, right, because we don't actually have... I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and give you like a class 4 job but there, Bonji, for now. Uh, we don't have a research table up yet. I guess we could always leave that on, it wouldn't cause any problems. There you go. So now when you're not cooking, you can research. And we're going to start on bridges. It's not the most important thing in the universe, but it's the thing I want to see the most, therefore we're doing it. Yeah, I guess that's a fine spot, people can still play with that, that's going to be okay. In fact, they might do the thing where they play indoors, I've seen that before. Dog is helping the haul. Aw, oh, so nice. And yeah, we got lots of leather. We got... Oh! So camel hide is distinct from plain leather. That's interesting. Why wouldn't... I'm surprised they still have typed. Maybe just fewer types than before. Alright, fair enough. Well, I guess this is a fine place for us to put in a cut. We've got research going on. Got some crops growing finally. Strawberries, because we can eat some things without eating, just, you know, just to say. And then some rice and some corn over here. And I'm very excited for the bridge. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you guys next time.